Joining us now is the general manager of Canadian fitness brand sensation Studio Legree, Jennifer McChesney. Welcome to what she said. Thank you for having me. Now, Studio Legree brought one of Hollywood's hottest workouts to Canadian soil about four years ago. What is the Legree method? I know it's not easy. So the Legree method was basically created by Sebastian Legree. He was a trainer to the celebrities in Hollywood, uh, primarily Pilates. That's his background. And he was sick of his clients coming to him and saying, oh, thanks for the workout. Now I'm going to go run or I'm going to go do something else. He thought, you know, this should be hard enough for you not to need to do another workout. So he started, you know, with his, his science background and his uh, the way his mind works, he started to create this Legree method. So it's founded in Pilates. We say Pilates is kind of Legree's daddy, um, but it's a lot more intense than regular Pilates. So the movements are meant to get you to muscle failure. What that means is the exercises are blocked by muscle group. So you work that muscle until you essentially can't work it anymore. And then you move on to another muscle group. Um, now, none of the Legree method could be possible without the Megaformer, which is a spinoff of the Reformer. Uh, this machine, basically the whole workout is done on the machine. Every client gets their own mega former and it's meant, it's basically a universal gym on its back. So it's resistance training. It has a moving platform or a moving carriage, some still platforms, and you can essentially do every exercise on this machine. How long is the workout then if you're taking every muscle group and, and taking it to the point of exhaustion? It's 50 minutes, uh, so it's not that long compared to some other, you know, traditional workouts. Most people are used to one-hour classes. Um, and the reason is, is because the movement's done very slowly and very methodically that you don't need to be spending a lot of time on each area. So okay, hang on a second. Let me, let me chime in here because Sophie, <laughs> my daughter, took me to, to a class. She thought it was great. I got there and I got on the meg mega former, yes. which is I've done Pilates, I've done yoga. I'm reasonably, uh, you know, flexible and fit. I got on that sucker and my legs, you know, on the, the, were separating on the two plates. And by the end of that, there was no way I was pulling them back together. It takes what up to ten classes? It was said to me for, for you to get used to the motions and to complete a work through. Would, was yes. that about right? We would say that after ten classes, you've kind of got it. Now that means because it's a different language. Mm -hmm. We call the movements different things. We'll say, you know, put your hands on the two, three, four line on the mega former and your toes on the platform, and we're going to do bear. If you're a first, second, <laughs> third, fourth timer, you're looking at everyone going, "What the heck is a bear?" So it also means, you know, it takes 10 classes to understand the language of Legree. Um, as far as who can start Legree, anybody, any fit fitness level, it is difficult, but um, every movement has modifications to make it beginner advanced. So tell us what it does to your body, because I mean, there's some exercise uh, sort of routines that lengthen you and, and slim your legs, and there are other ones that do different things. So what... What would your body, how would your body change? So that's essentially what this machine, this workout does, is it lengthens and strengthens and tones. You can build if you want to build. That is dependent on how many springs, which is the springs are the weight load. So if you wanted to do high weight, you've just got to make sure that you can sustain the movement for the full duration um, because we do them for a minute to 90 seconds yes. to two minutes long. That would have been my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you think there was a need for this type of a workout in Toronto? Well, you know, it was a, a craze in Hollywood and then it started to kind of creep its way across the U.S. And once, you know, the owners, uh, Pino and Carm, they saw firsthand in New York City uh, at SLT, which is one of the busiest uh, Legree fitness studios in the world. And they saw, you know, just what it did for people's bodies. They saw the before and afters. You know, they, they have great relationships with Sebastian Legree, who can provide so many testimonials. And... The one thing that they felt was so important was that it was low impact. Mm -hmm. So right now we're living in this um, kind of era of 
you know, hard and fast and, and those type of workouts. Not that there isn't a place for those workouts, but it's wear and tear on the body. So how does an aging population as well as a young population do a workout that's high intensity, keeps the heart rate up without compromising, you know, joints and, um, you know, the different kind of ailments that just happen as we get older. So is that what you think Studio Legree did differently to become a successful fitness brand in such a saturated workout industry and city? Yes. And, and I think because Pilates is so popular and it's something that's been around for hundreds of years that um, has, you know, a lot of respect in the industry. But one of the things that we often hear about Pilates is it's great, but I don't find it challenging enough. So Legree basically fits that. Um, niche like head on. So in a saturated market where you have a mega former that's patented and licensed that no one else can have and a workout that's very um, specific to that machine, you kind of have a niche market there. Mm-hmm. Well, there are three locations in Toronto and Legree licenses, I understand, have been sold to other entrepreneurs in other major Canadian cities. So what are some tips that you would have uh, on how to expand your business successfully? Well, you know, we didn't do a lot um, of traditional marketing. We did a lot of word of mouth. So we would ha- invite people in. We offered, you know, the first class free for the first couple of years of um, our opening. And we found that once someone came, they brought a friend the second time. And then that friend brought a th- friend the next time or their mother <laughs> or their mother they trick their mother to come <laughs> so we found that a if you deliver the workout the way it's meant to be delivered the mm-hmm. way that you know Sebastian Legree intended and you couple that with great customer service and a, a great experience when you walk into the studio that's going to get people coming back. We find, you know, um, a lot of studios probably have the mega formers and it looks the part, but either the workout, you know, is not, doesn't maintain that integrity or the customer service experience is bad. That's, I would say, one of the biggest things. We want people to be able to walk into a studio Legree anywhere and recognize the brand, recognize the experience and enjoy that experience. What about expanding to other countries? So we've done that. So Studio Legree can be found in London, England, in Munich, Germany, and um, actually Chicago. Um, People ask why those locations. Um, Quite simply, we had contacts in those um, locations that had either lived in Toronto previously um, or our owners had personal uh, connections with them. And they loved it so much and said, you know, I want to be part of this. And so they uh, decided to partner with us and be managing partners of our Studio Legree locations um, across. But it's just not Studio Legree. There's the boxing sister brand, Studio right. KO. Yeah. So Studio KO is found in almost all of our locations, not our Forest Hill location, but almost all of our other locations. And this is basically, you know, a complement to the Legree method for the person that says, I love the slow pace, the high intensity of Legree, but I also like that idea of that more, you know, hard hitting type of workout. So Studio KO is authentic box fit led by a master trainer who was a pro boxer, trains all of our trainers in the way that he trains his fighters. And it's meant to be a fun workout, but you actually learn combinations and you learn how to hit a bag properly. So it's high intensity, but, you know, a little different than what you're used to. So what's next? Uh, We are looking for our next uh, Toronto location, um, possibly in the East End or Midtown, um, and maybe even going west to Oakville. Because you're on King Street downtown, Forest Hill Village, yeah. Forest Hill Village and And Vaughan. 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 Yeah, just near Vaughan Mills. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, How do people connect? So you can find us online at studiolegree.com or studioko.ca. Um, you'll find all the information about all of our locations, what you can expect about the Legree method, pricing, everything is online. And what is the pricing? So uh, first class drop-in, $17 for Studio Legree, $15 for Studio KO. Um, drop-in rates are $32 for Legree, but... We, we don't sell memberships, so you buy class packages. The higher the package, 5, 10, 20, the lower the cra- class ah. rate. 20 classes, the rate goes down to $22 a class. And they never expire. You can buy it now and go away for a while and come back, never expire. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. This is what she said. We'll be right back.